that I'm able to adjust to whatever coach is needed to whatever we're slacking in. I feel comfortable. Is it make it easier on you as an athlete though? Because, I mean, we're halfway through spring and they pretty much said like he's our starting right guard this fall. Does that help you as an athlete that the focus you now get to have on the secondary to start? Well, it helps me a lot, uh, especially the way I train, um, more applied into like the details of my technique and everything. Uh, it just it helps me a lot. Um, it also brings motivation. Is there, does the rapport start to kind of build with the guys on either side of you, and uh, how does that help? Repeat Do you start to build sort of a connection or some chemistry with the guys on either side of you, and how does that help over these next few? Uh, I mean, we all we all watch film together, and we all find a way to work together, communicate. Uh, once we're on the field, so once we're on the same page, and we think both, then, uh, you know, again, we all are getting better and better, and I'm communicating a lot better. Do you do you think about how versatility, whether it's on the inside, whether it's in center or whatever, do you feel like that help? Do you think about how that may help you at the next level? Uh, yeah, it definitely does because you know technique wise, everything is different, and it's good to learn different techniques to work different positions. So it really helps a lot. And was that something that you kind of came into college? You were like, yeah, this is something I want to play multiple guard spots. I want to learn how to play center. Like, like is that something that you did in high school, or is that something that you know kind of emerged? while you were here? Uh, I could say it, it mostly went to high school and then emerged here. Um, just being able to just learn that position is just pretty good. And I'm pretty sure it helps to the next level. Why is it important? Because you no, know, anything can happen. Anything can happen. It could be a bad day for somebody and then you know, just gotta step in. What are you most focused on during the spring? Most focused. What are you most focused on during the spring? Technique. Everything is technique. Um, I have to work my hands or work my steps. And yeah, I think it's technique. How long does it take for your body after a season is over to kind of feel like you get back to whatever whatever baseline is for you? I mean, recovery is a big thing. So I'm always recovering most of the time. Just uh, coming off the field, always in recovery. So. At the same time, I just train my mind to keep going. And whatever happens, happens. It's just a How'd you feel about where you were from like a fitness standpoint at the end of the year? Uh, I felt like I was at a good spot from the beginning of the year to actually the end. Uh, I feel like I needed to at least get better at where I'm at now, finish uh, wise. And, yeah. So, what'd you do over the offseason to work on that? Right now, I've been doing my like, parachute runs, stuff like that, getting my conditioning in. Cool. What did you learn from some of the guys who have played ahead of you? I learned a lot from, from Josh Myers. I learned a lot from Nick Fatigue and everybody else. Just the, the little details that, that some of us may overlook, you know, it counts. And sometimes you may overlook it. It's very important. So uh, just just train the mind, just keep going, just focus on the little things, just improving it makes a big difference. And that's what I'm picking up. And I know everyone goes through their own journey here. Not everybody, I mean, not, not even position wise, just everyone kind of does their own thing. Uh, as an offensive lineman, though, is it a little bit easier to have patience because of the way you kind of need to develop in the college game? I can't say it's a little bit easier because I'm saying, like, your chances of on the field, it's, it's very slim than from a defensive standpoint when you actually rotate to a certain point. It's just about just executing whenever, whenever it's time when you get the shot. You just got to show up. But you've done enough to rotate. I mean, you know, they found a way to rotate you in. I think that probably says something positive about you, right? Yes, sir. And I mean, the guys that were playing ahead of you—you you mentioned Josh, Wyatt. Those, I mean, those guys are now off in the NFL. Do you look at that and say, "All right, now's my chance to be the, one of those guys"? Oh yeah, most definitely. And I always call Josh Myers for you know tips and stuff like that based on like film and just regular technique of how we're supposed to like set towards you know certain positions and certain plays and. Get a lot of feedback from these guys. Matt, what's it been like learning from Coach Fry these first couple of spring it's, practices? It's been, it's been amazing. I learned a lot from him, and technique wise, it's a, it's, a, it's a big change, and it's very helpful. And I really appreciate it. What, what change in the technique is different? Like, what's uh, what's being taught to you new that you didn't maybe know before? Just know how to control and attack the block. Really work your feet and attack the block.